Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. A look at that Outback lift line shows fresh snow on the trees. I keep checking. I have not seen any new accumulation. We know we have new snow. It's just not been enough to actually measure. Also watching the ski area cameras. Things have melted a bit here, but we did have some ice on the lens there. We have less blue sky at Timberline. Everything looks pretty good at the rest of those ski area cameras and the snow that we've been seeing is supposed to slow down overnight tonight night and pretty much be done by those early morning hours tomorrow. You'll see that on the future track in just a moment. Satellite and radar image showing we have not much activity. Some here up in the northern part of central Oregon, but nothing in the higher elevations at the moment. And then that rain's turning into snow as it's hitting the cascades. Temperatures today and snow levels dropped for us. We're down into the 50s right now. So 52 in Redmond out at the airport. We should be at 70 for our high today. So you can see we are nearly 20 degrees below average. The winds, those are much calmer for us today. I have not seen any reports of gusts in those 30s today. We have had some sustained winds in the 20 to 25 mile per hour range, which we knew we were going to be seeing some stronger winds, just not quite as strong as yesterday. As this trough has been dropping down, watching those upper level winds, again, that's what drives the weather into the region are these upper levels. That continues to just shift. Notice that very, very slight shift as we go into Saturday. Not too much activity is expected on Saturday. We're still seeing a couple of spots where we have some rain showing here on the future track, but not much. Here's what I'm talking about. Friday, tomorrow morning, 12 a.m., not seeing any more activity, just a few clouds for you right there. We go through the day on Friday, right around 1 o'clock, there is some green showing on the Cascades. It's not too much, so if we see anything, it is going to be very light and not expecting too much. By the time we get to Saturday, again, we see that very quick and slight chance and that moves on. And what's happening is pretty much what I expected is its chances are lightening up a bit here and there. So for the most part, do not expect to see too much on the weekend except for some warmer temperatures. We are headed for a warm up. Here's where we are right now. Overnight tonight, we continue that trend of cooler temperatures. In fact, we're well below average, right? About 10 degrees or so depending on where you are within Central Oregon. Overnight temperatures ranging from the mid 20s to the low 30s. That is a cool, chilly night for this time of year. Tomorrow we start that warm up, but this is not average. This is below average still pretty much pretty close to 10 degrees. Once we get to Sunday, that's when we finally break that 70 degree mark again and we're back to average. It's not the warmest day we see on our seven day. That is on Wednesday and we're just flirting with 80 degrees midweek next week.